Francisco, Lo-Fi Poli, Sai, Michael Pickering here talking about our famous question, what's going on in the world today? And to the actions of homo sapiens everywhere we go. Out in Turkey, current President Erdogan has announced new presidential elections will take place on May 14th of this year. And he will be running for re-election. Wow, how surprising, not surprising at all. And look, if you're not aware of who President Erdogan of Turkey is, well, let us just say, He's not a nice president. But more on that as Season 7 continues, my friend. You'll learn his name pretty well. But the big question is, will Erdogan win? A bit too early to tell, really. But early indications would suggest that it's probably not even going to be a fair election. So he probably will win. Now let's move on out to Mexico, where Reporters Without Borders, an organization that tracks media freedoms across the world, as well as the number of journalists arrested and murdered in each country. Well, their 2022 numbers are in. And Mexico? Mexico had more journalists killed in their country in 2022 than any other country on the planet. And 2022 tied with two other years since 2001 to be their worst year for journalist murders. And look, I'm not going to give you the numbers. You know we don't do body counts here on Lo-Fi Poli Sci. You can look it up yourself. But the question to you Lo-Fi listeners out there is, why Mexico? Mexico's a democracy, right? Mexico's our neighbor, right? So why are so many journalists being murdered? Right in, people, right in. All right, let's move on over to Cop Verde, off the coast of West Africa, where the Portuguese government has announced that of the almost $650 million that Cop Verde owes Portugal from loans, that Portugal will now reinvest all of that money back into Cop Verde in the form of boosting and creating environmentally friendly development and especially energy. Well, Portugal, that's mighty nice of you. So, um, what are you going to get out of this exactly? Because while I would love to believe that former colonizers simply feel compelled to help African countries develop in more sustainable ways, especially in the consideration of debt repayments, but something's up with this. Has to be. We'll be keeping a close eye on this one for sure and let you know updates, people. Next up, we're headed to Gaza, and Gaza has opened their first boxing club for women. And this is fantastic. And yes, I'm talking sports people. You know, I don't normally talk sports, but this is great. You know, but just about a month ago, we talked about how Cuba had just opened up boxing to international competition for women in the country. And now Gaza has opened its first boxing club for women. Inclusivity in sports. I dig it, people. I dig it a lot. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the week. Some of that lo-fi local for you. Remember that while the podcast is only three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Every Thursday, though, our weekly blog comes out. So don't forget to head to lofipolysci.com and check it out and see see what's on the mind this week. Normally our blog's a bit more of a behind-the-scenes of Lofi Polysci, and it's always short and sweet. And this Friday, we start our weekly written news articles called Lofi Global Press. So Friday, check out our first one. It's titled, Political Science versus History. What's the Difference? And for all you Lofi University students out there, this is required reading. Also found on lofipolysci.com. So season seven's lineup is like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, podcast. Thursday, blog. Friday, Lofi Global Press articles. And our theme this season, C's on seven. It's a double entendre. And that's it. We're out for the week, people, but not really. Check us out tomorrow and Friday on lofipolysci.com for the blog and the articles. And right into the show, connect to us. Always remember that Lofi Poli Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you tomorrow, Lofi listeners. Dr. P, signing off. <laughs>